I just became the first person in the world to run a language model locally on a business card. It runs 24 tokens per second with a 260,000 parameters model trained on the Tiny Stories dataset by Andres Karpathy and built with a modified Llama 2C by Dave Bennett. In this video, I'll walk you through the process of how the card was made and the story behind it. I've been wanting to make a PCB business card for a long time. It's just freaking cool. But everything on the internet is quite the same. You got some LED matrix, some gold-plated text, and some capacitive touch sensor. So when I saw Dave Bennett's l 1 ASP32, an idea popped into my head. What if I put an LM onto my business card and let people interact with it? Then an even better idea popped into my head. What is the best interaction design for such a card? Of course, you can put some LCD screen, some speaker, or even some USB HID to send text to a computer. But the best is actually classical. The freaking Uja board! Like the board that lets you talk to ghosts. So that's when I began designing Uja, my business card that hosts an LLM locally. The process is pretty simple. I start with the requirements for the card first. It needs an ESP32 that has enough RAM to store the model. Then it needs USB-C charging so people can power it easily. It needs some kind of capacitive touchpad so people can interact with it. And it needs some LEDs at last, in particular 36 individually addressable LEDs to represent the alphabets and all the numbers. With these requirements, the schematics design is pretty easy especially with all the references on the internet. I used KiCad for making the whole thing, and turning it into a PCB was particularly quite easy as well, designing it with just a matter of taste. I didn't want long text, so I just put a quote and a link to my website, then I draw some cool art to put on the silk screen. This is a good time to say that this project is sponsored by NextPCB. NextPCB is a one-stop service platform in the electronics industry, offering PCB manufacturing, PCB assembly, and the HQDFM Gerber Viewer. And to support the open source community, NextPCB has launched the Accelerate campaign, which will offer free prototyping for any open source PCBA project based on the ESP32-S3, including five PCBs and two SMTs for up to $500 in discount. There are only 20 places available. If interested, you can click the link in the description for details. And in fact, the PCBs you saw in this video were a part of the Accelerate program. The next step is building the firmware. This is somewhat straightforward also. Since Dave Bennett already had a project on LLM on ESP32, I only need to port it to my board and add some cool visualizations. Due to the size limitation of the LLM or SLM, it can only tell a folk story. In addition to make it more interactive, I also made a simpler firmware that spawns random messages each time you tap the card, like a magic 8-ball. In reality, having such a small LLM would not be differentiable to such hard-coded messages. So mm, everything is open source, including the KiCat project and all the firmware. You can find the GitHub link below. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe for future cool stuff.